Hello everybody, Speedrun here and in this tutorial we will learn how to display message in our uh, Ragnar Online as broadcast. Yes, there we are. Message 1, testing, testing, working. Let's get ready with our scripts. Number 1, you're gonna go to your emulator folder right here under npc you can add either under script custom okay right here you can add this script that you want but on the last episodes i have made this import npc slash scripts your and rro.conf okay so this means now I have this and I can add all my custom NPCs or scripts right here. Right. Now I'm going to add a new NPC. And here I'm going to create NPC slash your row slash news dot txt save it now i need to go under your row here and create a new document called news okay so right here i have added news yes correct okay first step is done now we have a new document here and i want to open this with my sublime text now it's loading my sublime in just a little moment and i'm gonna drag inside my sublime text and here we are now i have the news.txt and that's where we are going to code our new npc a uh, new script uh, let's go and start coding this nice script right here since this is not an npc it is a script that's gonna announce so we start by adding this sign okay and then tap now it's very important if you're using sublime text to go over here and tab with one okay so when you tap it will be like this otherwise if you tap here oh that, that's actually working correct this time oh there was using spaces so you need to remove this using space so tab before is fine all right so you add the icon and then tap okay now you're gonna add right here script Now you add another space, and here I'm going to call in news. Okay. Now I'm going to add this sign right here. Okay. Now I add a comma, and I open this is right here, and then press enter. So now our kind of NPC is set and we just need to add some values to announce the, the news here, the broadcast. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to give some spacing and I'm going to start to write the script right here. What I want to do first, I want to set the array, array because I want to have multiple messages and i'm going to add set array and then i'm going to give a space and here i'll actually put dot news okay and add a dollar sign okay afterwards i'm going to open this keys right here and put zero now I'm going to put a comma right here and let's give, so I press tab and I'm going to give a 
comments here what this means random message to be announced or will be announced okay this so everything that goes after this is not part of the script it's just for me to understand what's happening in our code i'm going to press this uh, enter to go to the next line now our script reads here wait this part and then jumps to this part and skip this part right here okay so let's go to the next line and add our very very first um, comment so here i'm going to tap i can even tap multiple times it's fine now i'm going to create this sign right here okay and let's put message one test test working okay now this part of the script i do need a camera okay. and if it's just one single message i'm gonna enter with this sign right here okay but since we have a second message i need camera first now on second line i repeat this and now i put message two okay okay working and this time, since I want it to be the last message, I had this key right here. Great, I hope you guys are following. Now I'm going to uh, create a code where, well, le let me write the code first so we understand what, uh, what I want to mean, just a moment. So here you're gonna type while, and then here you're just gonna open uh, this and type one now you open this uh, curly keys here okay and you add announce now i need to call what is our script our script is new so dot news okay now we need a rent okay, so actually this sign is this one so rent now let's add another of this we are finishing with the script it's very easy okay get array size okay. now i'm going to give another space no not space uh, now is space dot news and the dollar sign you remember that right here i'm going to give a space okay just to look more clear and beautiful the script let's add the zero and and close here now i'm going to add sleep okay and then here i'm going to add dot time space and uh, asterisk space and here i'm gonna put ten thousand okay, so three zeros four zeros okay ten thousand let's close with this key and right here i'm gonna add end sign so the script ends here now what this means is that the time will multiply by ten thousand 
So if I go up here right now and I add, so just a moment. If I add this script right here on it, on in it, what this mean is gonna call our is gonna call this time, okay? Time, okay, so let's call that so set dot time. And then comma 30 and this so what is happening here is is calling the time and then this is multiplied by this which means if i put one it's going to be one minute but if i put 30 it's 30 minutes okay so announce every x minutes okay so you need to calculate this time this in seconds so you know how many minutes okay now i'm going to save this script and test it in game what i need to do now is to go to my emulator and run the server now we are loading the server all right so our script have loaded and i saw here that there is a typo okay let's go ahead and this get array size so let's fix this get array size now i'm going to try in game and reload the script see if it's all right okay after a while i have noticed that i was missing the dollar sign right here okay now with the dollar sign it should be good to go let's reload the script actually there's another way to reload just this right here so let's go ahead and try reload npc file space then we're going to, we are going to our later npc so is in in npc folder then i add a slash right here i'm going to target your hope so let's go ahead and put your whole slash news.txt like this you don't need to reload the entire script yes there we are message one testing testing working this was the tutorial for today i hope you enjoyed and peace